Zero trust is more than a buzzword. It's becoming the standard for cybersecurity and healthcare, but why should it matter to you? Welcome back to the MedCurity Podcast. This is October. October is Cybersecurity Awareness Month. So this month, we are going to be bringing you the latest in security strategies that can help safeguard your organization. Today, we're tackling a concept of zero trust architecture. It's an approach that challenges the old way of thinking about network security and asks, why are we trusting anyone inside or outside by default? So what is zero trust? It's the idea that no one, not even those inside your network, should be trusted until they've been thoroughly verified. In the past, once someone was inside your perimeter, they had more or less free reign to access various systems. But as threats have evolved, especially with the rise of remote work, cloud computing, and sophisticated cyber attacks, it's clear that this approach leaves too many doors open. So this is where zero trust comes in, making sure every access point is secure always. Now, why should this matter to healthcare organizations like yours? Healthcare data is one of the most valuable targets for attackers. Sensitive patient information, billing records, treatment details, all of this is worth a lot on the black market, and it's worth a lot to you. A breach isn't just data loss. It can have devastating consequences for your patients and for your organization's reputation. So adopting zero trust is not only a smart move, but a necessary one. Now, zero trust is built around three core principles. Never trust, always verify, limit access to what's necessary, and assume a breach could happen at any time. Let's break these down. First, never trust, always verify. This means every single access request, whether it comes from inside or outside your network, needs to be authenticated and verified. It's like requiring ID every time someone walks through your building, no exceptions. In cybersecurity, this means multi-factor authentication is a must. You're verifying identities and devices before allowing access. Next, limiting access to the bare minimum, only what's necessary. The principle of least privilege is key here. No one should have access to more than they need to do their job. If one person's credentials get compromised and they have full access to your systems, the damage could be catastrophic. But by limiting access, you're containing the potential impact of any breach. And finally, assume that a breach can happen at any time, even with the best defenses, threats can still slip through. Zero Trust takes this into account by constantly monitoring and validating activity. It's like assuming someone could have snuck into the building already, so you're continuously checking to ensure that everything is as it should be. Logging, monitoring, and real-time alerts are critical components of this strategy. Now, if all this sounds like a lot. The good news is that you don't have to implement Zero Trust overnight. Start with the basics. Multi-factor authentication is a strong first step. From there, look into network segmentation, essentially dividing your network into smaller parts so that one gets compromised, the others remain protected. And don't forget real-time monitoring tools that can flag unusual activity before it becomes a full-blown incident. Here's something to remember. Zero trust isn't just about technology. It's about people and processes too. Your staff needs to be on board, understanding why these changes are important and how they protect patient data. It's crucial to build a culture where cybersecurity is everyone's responsibility, not just something handled by the IT team. With threats constantly evolving, having a zero trust mindset helps ensure you're not caught off guard when, not if, an attack occurs. Thanks for joining us today on the MedCurity podcast. Stick with us throughout the rest of this Cybersecurity Awareness Month, and we will continue to bring you tips and strategies to keep your organization safe. Stay safe, stay secure, and we will see you next time.